Just after midnight on Saturday, gunshots rang out near a popular nightclub on New Chong Barracks. The shots were allegedly fired by 25-year-old Tariq James, who was in the company of Deputy Mayor of Belize City, 28-year-old Micah Gooding. James reportedly opened fire on 31-year-old Kenyon Tillett, who then returned fire as James and Gooden fled the scene in Gooding's Black Nissan Rogue. According to Commissioner of Police Chester Williams, the entire ordeal was the result of a feud between two groups which Gooding allegedly tried to quell. During the event, Michael Gooding may have intervened to quell the dispute between the parties and uh, he got into his vehicle along with two other persons and drove off. While driving off, one of the occupants of Michael Godin's vehicle fired several shots and uh, one of the persons with whom they had the misunderstanding returned fire towards Michael Godin's vehicle, causing four bullet holes and uh, one person who was inside the vehicle got a bullet grazed to the neck. Gooding then transported 20-year-old Tay Medina, a shadow councillor of the Belize City Council, to the hospital, before racing off to the Queen Street Police Station, where he, James and Tillett were all detained. However, of the three men who all were in possession of licensed firearms, only Gooding was free to go after 36 hours in detention. At the end of the investigation, Tillett was charged for aggravated assault, wounding, and discharging firearm in public. Tyreek James was charged for discharging firearm in public. The investigation did not reveal that Michael Gooding was involved in the um, shooting incident, and so he was released after 36 hours in custody. James and Tillett were taken to court this morning where they faced a number of charges that including discharging a firearm in public. One might question, why charge for discharging firearm in public? The reason why we did that is because, obviously, the two parties are in dialogue and are hoping to settle the matter between themselves. So they might go to the court this morning and say, we don't want nothing against each other. And the court may withdraw the complaint. But when it comes to the discharging firearm in public, that's a matter for the police. They cannot withdraw that complaint. So that will be a matter that will be left in the courts. And then the police are the complainant in that particular incident. And so we'll be able to prosecute them, notwithstanding them having withdrawn the individual complaint against each other. Since Tillett had reportedly returned fire after being shot at, Campbell Williams says he may be able to claim self-defense. But that's if he had made a complaint against James or Gooding. Certainly, he could claim self-defense, but let me say that Mr. Tillett was not forthcoming with investigators, and so there is no complaint um, from him to say that the person from Gooding's vehicle, who is James, had shot at him or pointed a gun at him, per se. There was nothing, because he was not forthcoming. While Gooding was in charge, Tillett alleged that when he approached him to talk, the councillor brandished his licensed firearm. Nonetheless, Campbell Williams says he did not break the law. He did not say that Micah took out the firearm and used it at any time. Um, he even went to the extent to say that he didn't know who fired the shot um, that was fired. But he knew it, come, it came from Micah's vehicle. Tyreek James, on the other hand, admitted to firing his weapon. And so based on that, um, even though Micah had his gun on his side, the fact that he did not take it out or use it would not constitute an offense. While the good counselor didn't break the law, in the court of public opinion, many believe that given his social status, he may have been acting with a sense of impunity and simply behaving in such a manner may have made him guilty by association. It, it has nothing to do with public life. Um, you're a licensed firearm holder, you're a licensed firearm holder. It doesn't matter what your social status is. It is expected that you're going to carry out yourself in, in such a way that you do not 
make it obvious that you have a gun on you and that you do not go and consume alcohol with a weapon on you and that you do not use a weapon unless there is a justified reason to use it. So that, go, that is across the board. It doesn't matter who you are. Police have since confiscated all three licensed weapons and are expected to conduct ballistic tests to ascertain whether all three were used in the incident. In addition, the men will be written by the Commissioner of Police to provide reasons why their firearms license should not be revoked. However, if they are found to have been drinking while in possession of the guns, Campbell Williams says their license will immediately be considered null and void. Reporting for Love News, I am Vigie Alvarez.